Hey, this is Janet Jackson again with another tip for those of you who have sat in your office and thought there has to be a better way. Have you ever found yourself maintaining two documents because part of the information should be seen by others, but part of it you just want to keep to yourself? A quick workplace example I can think of are meeting agendas. If you're the one leading the meeting, you may want the attendees to see the general outline like I have here, but you yourself may have talking points that you don't want to forget as you go through as you lead the meeting, and you may have those captured on a different Word document. Another example might be workplace assessments or tests where you need the user to see the questions, but definitely not the answers. So unless you know the trick I'm about to share, you're probably maintaining two files, one for the user or attendee and one for you or the answer key. The big problem comes when you want to make a change. At best, you're making the same change in two places. At worst, you forget to make the change in both places and now your files are out of sync. So the solution, the solution is to have one file, one Word document, and use a feature in Word or a formatting tool in Word called Hidden Text. So I'm going to call up a um, kind of a silly, it's not silly, it's a real assessment, um, but I don't think any of you need to necessarily take this assessment. Um, but I'm pulling this up just to show you an example, right? It's it's for people who are brand new to the computers or maybe kids and just kind of just the pre-assessment so that hopefully after the training and after some some sessions with me on my e-learning site, their post-assessment, they'll score better. So if you want to have only one copy of this assessment, meaning one that you present to the users, and then that same one is your answer key, we can add the answer key into our Word document using hidden text. So let me go through here and add some hidden text. So right here at question one, of course, our answer for this question is A. All right, and then we'll put our answer here and it is, um, I gotta read the question quick. <laughs> it is C, open. And we'll do one more. And our answer for this is D for drag. Okay, so right now, if I were to print this, obviously, and if I handed it to the person who's going to take this assessment, they're going to have the answers in front of them, which is not what we want to do. But we also don't want to have two files or have to keep track of a manually handwritten answer key. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the, the text that I want to hide. And I'm going to go up to my font group on my home ribbon in my font group if we expand the dialog, bo dialog box launcher. And we can choose hidden. So this is hidden font. So when I click OK, you may or may not be able to see. Let me see if I can zoom in so you can see this better. Yes, you can kind of see there's, there's a very faint dotted line underneath that to tell me that that's hidden text. So I can apply the same thing here. Again, I'm going to the expand dialog box launcher, click hidden, okay? And we'll do it one more time just so you see it. We could of course use our format painter tool to apply formatting, but I'm gonna click on hidden. And so now all of these are hidden. It's really hard to see unless you're zooming in and can see those dots that there's anything different about those. And if I were to hit print preview, right now this would, be what I would print. So you may be a little stumped, so just bear with me because there's a this is this is step one of this process. Um, what I just kind of a best practice, what I do like to do is make anything that I've hidden, I like to make it red because it's that much more visible to me that that's hidden text. It clearly calls it out. So step two essentially of this process is now to modify our settings, our settings that we have in Microsoft Word. So if I go to File, Options, and I go to Display, which is a little misleading, but we're gonna go to Display, and we have two check marks available to us, or two settings here available to us in regards to hidden text. One is 
for on-screen viewing. So I'm going to leave that one checked for right now. But the other here is for printing options. So when I turn off print hidden text, I've turned it off. I'm 99% sure that if you've never used these settings before, they both default to checked on. So that's why I want to show this to you. So if you want to print this once for your user, so you can go make copies, you're going to turn that checkbox off. You're going to click OK. And now if I hit print preview, those answers are gone. Yay, woohoo! I think that's exciting. If I was a teacher, I would 100%, well, I am a trainer, but I don't do a lot of testing. But if I was a teacher who did a lot of quizzes and a lot of tests and assessments, I would 100% love that, that tip because now the answer key is right in the same file as the actual test. Now, let's say you're projecting this test on a projection unit and you don't want these red hidden words to be visible there either. Then we can go to File, Options, and use that other checkbox that says in Display that says Show Hidden Text. So if I turn that on, I'm going to click OK. And now I can't even see those on my screen. So you know, note to self, make sure you understand where you've applied hidden text and where you haven't, um, so you can kind of remember that. Um, but this would make it so that you could project this, these quizzes or these questions up on the screen and have your students be filling out their answer forms at their desks or wherever. So again, to repeat that process, you're going to select the text that you want to hide. I'll just hide this entire question. Go to the font dialog box, check the hidden box, click OK. And because of how my settings are inside of file options, I'm not even seeing that on the screen. And of course, if at any point in time you need to get back to your hidden text and you want to be able to see it, just repeat the process. Go to File, Options, and you can tell it under Display that you want to show hidden text and or print hidden text. Because what's nice, obviously, if I print the hidden text, now I have a printed version of my answer key. So to show this concept in the meeting agenda that I talked about, instead of having one that is for you and one that is pared down and for your attendees, what you can do is, again, create one agenda. And then all of the things that you want to have for yourself, select those and make those hidden. Now what's nice, I'm going to turn off that print again so you can see this. What's nice is, Microsoft, nice or not nice, depending on, I guess, what you want it to do, um, Microsoft Word will essentially collapse that space. So when I go to Print Preview, I don't have a huge block. In fact, I don't have any block between background and the process. It collapses that what would be white space. So you can play around with that. You can put in some, some non-hidden enters if you want to create some space on the agenda for them. Um, but it's, gonna, it's, it's just going to print. It's only going to print what it's been told to print. And so that means if it's going to you know, take out all of this white space, um, it will do that. So one last example that I'll share with you just to give you another idea of how you might want to use hidden text, and that is... Um, as, a, as a trainer, like I am, I do a lot of training on Excel, workplace organization, productivity, all the Microsoft stuff. And so I have handouts for my attendees. And so in these handouts, again, I have, I have notes that I want to remind myself. Sometimes I need to remind myself which file I want to have open, what our sample exercise is, or just you know, just, just quick little things that I don't want to forget as I'm training. So this is another example of where I have used hidden text so that when it's printed, they're only seeing what I want them to see. But when I turn that checkbox back on and file options and hit print, I can print a set of my notes so that I always have those visible. So I hope that helps. I, of course, as always, would love to hear from you in comments if this is a tool or a trick that that you can use. I'd love for you to share in comments and share as specifically as you can how you plan to use this tool, how to use hidden text, because you may benefit, someone else reading your comments may benefit from your ideas. 
And of course, if you'd like other workplace efficiency tips, be sure and subscribe to this channel or my newsletter to get tips delivered directly to your inbox. Thanks again for watching. I hope it helps.